Okay, now let's have a look at blocking that track recoil. Okay, the way to do that is uh, unplug your motors, of course, then uh, grab one of the red wire that goes to your motor and cut that. Okay, magic. Now, that's the input to our MFU. Okay, so that wire now connects up to, oh, that happens all the time. Hit that fan, connects up to one of the terminal blocks. So just insert it in either terminal block, one side. Screw that down. This side that runs to your motor now connects into the other side of the terminal block. Make sure you use the same terminal block for the same motor. And then we just screw that down. Okay. Now we simply connect that into the motor port fiddle around here. There we go. Okay, so now we should have recoil blocking when we uh, fire our gun. Let's have a look. There we go. Notice there was no violent backwards and forwards of the uh, of the motors. You will also too, if you look closely at the motors, you will see that they do move. And that was an important um, thing to make sure your Mako is optimized to Tajin. Um, the settings are a bit different between the Heng Long and the Tajin recoil. Uh, once you set to Heng Long, you'll get no um, what I call jab function, just a bit back. To get a little bit of um, function back on the motors there, you need to have the MFU selected as Tajin. So let's just have a quick look at that again and have a look at the motors there. You'll see that they just move just a little bit when you fire the gun. Okay. Also important with the MFU selection is how the motors react when the, you have received an IR hit. Okay, so let's move that back into the picture there and we will fire an IR shot at our unit and you'll notice too that we'll get a slight movement in the motors. Okay, if your unit is not set to the Tajin MFU, when you're using a Tajin unit, you will not get either of those two jab functions.